All right, so that's what I want. Uh, I am now going to go edit, copy. So I've copied that selection to the clipboard, which is like an imaginary place uh, where you copy, like when you copy and paste text in a Word document. I'm now going to go tracks, add new, audio track. I'm now going to go edit, paste. Notice I've now copied this and I pasted it to a new track. This track is that quote. Imagine it as if you if you interviewed someone for 20 minutes and in that 20 minutes they gave three good quotes. I'm going to go I'm I'm going through this and I'm picking out the quotes that I like and I'm copying and I'm pasting them to individual tracks. That way I have a track for every quote. This comes in very handy when you're editing long audio files because you can break your like an hour of audio down into say four or five or ten quotes and then once you have all your quotes you can decide mm, I like that one oh, I don't want that quote and you can just turn those tracks on or off so uh, I'm gonna move on now um, I'm gonna rename this one you click a little down arrow go name and I'll just call it you know okay call it quote one or I'll call it we're making making quesadillas okay uh, my next quote I know is about 229, so to hear. Like so. I heard a few of you uh, kind of I heard a few of you uh, kind of going eee. Oh, I, I want this to about 253. 253 about there. I'm gonna listen to this. I heard a few of you uh, kind of going e. Oh, tuna. No, everybody here loves tuna. Because you gotta try it. Tuna's so good for you and it's so tasty. You know what? Tuna will make your muscles big. And strong. Excellent. So, from there to there, I want. I'm gonna go edit copy. I'm going to go tracks, new, audio track, edit, paste. By default, because I just created that track, it defaults to paste there. And it also pastes in the same spot. So now I'm going to name this one, I'll call it, you know, tuna U or whatever. You, you can imagine if you had 20 different quotes, it's very handy to give them all names. So then you know, oh, that track is that quote, as opposed to having to listen to them all. So now I'm done. I've, I've snipped out the two quotes that I want. Uh, I can now, I could just mute this if I wanted, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close it. And to do that, you just click X. Now, that track is now out of the project. I haven't deleted the file. Remember, the file is still sitting here on my computer. I've just removed that file from the project. So now I have three separate tracks. I'll unmute this one. Now, as it goes now, it's zero seconds to 45, then a bunch of nothing, silence, then here to here, then silence. So to bring this together, I'm going to click here on the slider tool, move this to there. Notice when I move it, it kind of snaps too. That's very convenient. Click on this one, it kind of snaps too. Great. So now these three line up. So it, the playhead, when I hit play from the beginning, will go zero to here, then here to here, and then here to here. And we're done. The one last little thing I'm going to show you is the envelope tool. For that, if I use the zoom tool here and I zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, notice how it kind of just stops here at the end. I can go click here a few seconds in and I can hit play. It kind of just ends, right? Or even here. <laughs> It's nice to always fade out at the end, so you don't have an abrupt stop. If I click on the envelope tool, notice these new bars popped up here. I can click here and make a little point, click here and make a little point, and now I can click and I can drag these points. Point of that is that I, let's say here I wanted to make a point and here, I can See that? I can use that to make certain parts loud and certain parts quiet. This comes in really handy. I'm just going to go edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo. Great. So now our audio, go back to the select tool, fades out. This also comes in handy 
when you have two clips like this, um, these are two separate clips, and if you listen to them, play. Okay, I heard a few of you. Notice there was kind of an abrupt, uh, it kind of cut there, it was kind of a noticeable cut had been made. If I grab the envelope tool, and I take this, and I drag it, so these kind of overlap just a tiny bit. Now when I hit play, Okay, I heard a few... Uh, There's still a bit of a, you can kind of notice there was a cut there, but what if I grab the envelope tool, click here, click here, bring this down. Now I'm going to show you another little trick. This is actually kind of a little shortcut. Here I manually brought it down. It's always better to manually do it, but a little tiny shortcut is select an area, go to effect, um, utility, fade in or fade out. This is kind of a little shortcut, a little way of cheating. If you go fade in, it automatically does that thing for you. Now, because this kind of fades out and this kind of fades in, if I listen to it now... I heard a few of you uh, kind of going... E I didn't like that. I don't think it faded out fast enough. See, with here, because I use that utility, um, I can't change it. I have to basically go undo. But with this one, because I use the the uh, envelope tool, I can go back and easily change it. So I'm actually going to take this. I'm going to move that to about there. And here I'm going to click there and move that to like kind of like that. And point is that I, I'm doing this so that one clip kind of blends into the next one and you won't notice it. That's the point of this. I heard a few of you uh, kind of Maybe I just move it in. You know, this is the, you have to basically keep doing this over and over again until you get it. I heard a few of there. you. You could hardly notice it. Um, I'm sure I could tweak this more to make it better, but you, you get the idea. Same thing with here. I'm sure I could do it to um, hit play. Structured. Well, we're making quesadillas, so we're just going to. I could fade that. I'm just going to leave it for now just to save time. So, But uh, that's basically the envelope tool and how you can do that. Um, one last little trick I'm going to show you. If you highlight a whole track and go Effect, Utility, Normalize. This is a nice little feature. Uh, just leave it at the default, hit OK. What Normalize does is um, when people talk, it kind of you kind of go loud, quiet, loud, quiet, loud, quiet when you talk. And it can be quite uh, annoying when you're listening to audio. Hit OK. And what this is kind of doing is it's kind of leveling out the audio so that it doesn't go loud, quiet, loud, quiet, loud, quiet. It's just a little thing. It's just a little, tiny little um, trick you can do. Um, it's not as big a deal for this kind of audio, but um, if you have someone who's really soft-spoken and then all of a sudden gets really loud and then they go back to being really soft-spoken, Normalize can really fix that. So, um, so we're going to go save. It's always good to save. And now my project's done. Um, I would listen to this one more time, make sure it's all the way I like it. I'm going to go File, Export. Um, if MP3 isn't selected, select MP3. Options should be 128. Um, and call this, export the project as, you know, um, audio final or whatever. And uh, you can put it into your original audio folder. I'm just going to put it here in the Mini Chef sound slide folder. So audio final, hit save. This will pop up wanting you to enter in, um, you know, a uh, track name. This is if you were like uh, making music. You can just leave this blank. Hit OK. It exports and we're done. We're just going to hit save again. Oh, and we're just going to hit close. Now remember, I've just exported a single uh, MP3 file. This is one track. That's different than my Audacity project. My project contained multiple tracks. Um, multiple tracks. So that MP3 is only one track. Everything's kind of flattened down. So remember that. If you want to go back and make changes later, you want to save and reopen your project. If you just, your final exported thing is an MP3 that's flattened just one track.